What we're doing today at this award ceremony is recognising some people who have done extraordinary things in the field of philanthropy. They are beacons for others so that we can show what can be done. We want to inspire others to do more. Welcome to Mansion House, welcome to the Egyptian Hall, home to the Lord Mayor of London for 250 years since it was built, um, and welcome for this, the Beacon Awards for Philanthropy. What has really encouraged and surprised us is the sheer number of people around the UK who are involved in not just generous giving, but really effective, thoughtful, strategic giving that is changing our communities in the UK and communities around the world. I've had a lot of fulfilment in, in my life from my business in hedge funds, but this has been as fulfilling, if not more so, than, than, than anything I've done in business. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur and I set up my own business, but um, it, it's a different type of feeling that you get from philanthropy. So I would certainly encourage as many people as possible to get involved. We all celebrate those amazing stories that are out there. It will make a difference to raising the climate for philanthropy. Well, a tough question. Why do you do it? You get a great sense of joy. The more you get involved, time, money, the more you see that you can make some sort of impact. I have found that the value, the enjoyment you get from cumulative spending on luxuries is a fast diminishing return. The more you give, the more you give your time, the more fun you have, the more fulfillment you have because you're making a difference. Harris Bukhari. My father always used to say to me, uh, it's not what you do in your lifetime really matters. It's the legacy you leave for those future generations that makes a difference. And if I can make that difference by some of the work that I do and continue the legacy of my late father, then possibly the world can be a better place. The Judges Special Award, Harvey McGrath. Philanthropy has to be focused, just like any business. You have to have your targets. You have to know who you're going to help, how you're going to do it. Not just some dreaming about making life better. Use your business skills and your acumen to make sure that your giving benefits the community in the same way that your, your, your business was so successful. When it comes to philanthropy, you need to make an ask and you need to be very straightforward about that ask. My experience is if you do that, you get a response. Just recognise that it's great fun to give. Uh, the satisfaction you get out of giving money that you probably never knew you were going to earn uh, so it sort of comes as a gorgeous surprise, is disproportionate to the value of the gift. It's just so gratifying, actually. And I'm not ashamed of that. I mean, I get a real kick out of giving money away. The Beacon Awards for philanthropy are very important. They're very important to JP Morgan as well. You can get a lot of pleasure out of philanthropy and be recognised in doing so. You could just write a cheque. That's not what this is about entirely. It's about writing the cheque and also saying, I want to see what it could do, I've got ideas, let's get on with it. And many of these people will tell you, this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. It's through telling these stories and celebrating the achievements of these remarkable individuals that we hope to encourage others. We want to inspire others to do more.